Today's lesson will be on looking at tables and forms in a database. Data is another word for information. A database is a collection of information on a particular topic. Examples of databases include an address book on your phone or a catalogue of songs on iTunes. Examples of databases in the workplace include doctors keeping a file system on patients and retail stores such as Kmart keeping a system that tracks stock levels. Scientists also use databases to store and manipulate information. A database does not only store information but also allows you to use the information in different ways. For example, an iTunes database allows you to sort songs alphabetically according to song title or artist, or you could tell the database to only show songs that you downloaded in the last three days, or songs that are by a particular artist. Microsoft Access 2007 is a program which can be used to create a database. It allows us to store large amounts of information and enables us to arrange the data in different ways to better understand and interpret it. In today's lesson, we will learn about flat file database, tables, forms, fields and records. We will use an earthquake database as an example. All the information in a database is stored in a database table. Our database is called a flat file database because the database contains of one table only. A database is made up of fields and records. The columns of the table are called fields. In this earthquake database, there are four fields. The first field is an automatic number ID field. The second field is called Yi, and it shows the Yi that an earthquake has occurred. The third field is called location and shows the location of each earthquake. The fourth field is called Richter scale measurement and shows the magnitude of the earthquake. The data across each row of a table is called a record. A record is a group of related information. Each part of a record is a field. In this earthquake database, there are 23 rows altogether, which means there are 23 records in total. In the first record, it contains related data because it has the information for the same earthquake. So the first record shows that an earthquake occurred in the year 2010 in the location of Fiji with a Richter scale measurement of 6.0. In the second record, it shows that an earthquake has occurred in 2010 in the location of Vanuatu with a Richter scale measurement of 5.0. In the 10th record, it shows that an earthquake has occurred in 2010 in the location of Tanzania with a Richter scale measurement of 5.4. Databases can also have a form structure. The main difference between a form and a table is that a form only shows one record at a time. In contrast, a table shows all the records at the same time. In the form view of a database, there are several buttons at the bottom of the screen. The first button takes us back to the first record. This button takes us to the next record. This button takes us to the last record. This box shows that there are 23 records altogether in this database and that I am currently on the 23rd record out of 23 records. There is another button that lets us add a new blank record, but we will look at this at a later lesson.